Uh, welcome to a how to play what is drop mix. Hey everyone, it's Jason, part two of the drop mix video. We're going to go through the other modes. Uh, the first video will explain the basic premise of the game and freestyle. Now I'm going to go through Clash, Party, and Puzzle. So if I click on Clash, this is a two to four player game. So either you can have a one player team with 30 cards, or you could have two player teams with 15 cards each. You could play one versus two, or one versus one, or two versus two. So right now I'm just going to pretend I'm doing a one versus one, so a 30 card. So it's going to set my 30 cards on the deck here. And basically, like, every, like, album or group of packs are 15 cards. So you're basically mixing two kind of, like, genres together. It's going to tell us to push the drop mix button. It's going to tell us to remove the cards. And it just picks whatever one of the cards. So it's obvious there's two different ones mixed in there. It's going to pick which player goes first. So now it's going to show down here is uh, how many cards they'll flip back and forth. They'll say how many cards you should have in your hand currently. This is your point total. This is the board. Um, if we hit the pause menu, you can go to the guide, and it gives us the various rules. And it's just saying, um, you know, each player, first player to reach 21. And it's just saying how you break down the cards. It says on your turn, you play a card. Or you can hit the drop mix button to try and remove cards. Um, and it says you want to play something, but you must always play a matching color slot. So unlike in freestyle where you could play anything. And it has to either be an equal or higher level. And you gain points based on that. And there's other various scoring things. Um, black and white cards, these are where they have little special effects that come into play. And then you can set on the bottom, you can add different rules. So if you want to go to a certain point level, have a timer. So if that way people are, oh, they're taking 10 minutes to do a turn. You can set it to a quick timer. So it has you draw five cards. So one, two, three, four, five in one hand. And do five in the other. Uh, what's also nice, because there's no timer on here right now, you can take your time kind of figuring out what you want to do. Uh, if you have... Uh, multiplayers, it's one player takes a turn, next player takes a turn. So, to start off, I'm going to just play a... I believe, ooh, I have my decks backwards. I'll probably flip them around so I just keep my hand straight. And I just jank my camera. So as you can see now, I got one point, because I played one card, it's showing it there, showing what I played, and I can play a second card. And that time I played a three star, or a three level. So, I got two points, and I draw back up to my five cards. So if I click on here, it's going to say I should be back to my five cards. Now the opponent gets to play. Now. These other two are flashing a green and yellow, because there have not been a green or yellow played. So I can get extra points by playing one of those. And when you're playing on the board, it does not matter which direction the card goes, like face up or face down. Um, so I don't have to try and sit here and like play my, your, you play yours one direction, your opponent plays them the other direction. Just at the end, you just want to make sure you unshuffle them. So I got two points automatically, because I hit a spot that hadn't been used yet. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a green card. So my options are either playing a red here, playing a blue or green here, or I would have to play either another yellow on top of mine or a higher blue. I have a higher blue card, so we're going to drop that down. That gave me three points. Another point, so I'm up to three on this side. But I also took over his thing, so he can't take that. Now let's see what the other player can do. In this case, we can go back and forth. So now what I'm going to do is...
We're gonna play a yellow card. That got me a point. That green space is still open, but unfortunately this hand doesn't have one. So I'm gonna play this turn as I got an FX card. It says plus two per microphone. I can play this on any spot as long as the level is high enough, but since both of these are three, I can't place it there. So I'm gonna block it on the green one for right now. I get plus two for each vocal card. So it got me an extra point there. That green spot's still open because it still hasn't been used. But that was the two cards for that turn. And then this just proceeds until someone wins. Um, what's neat is because you're mixing two different decks, which each deck is kind of its own genre. So one's kind of more focused towards pop, one's rock, one's hip-hop, one's country, uh, so on and so forth. Is you can either mix two rock together, two hip hop together to kind of keep the same feel. And your opponent can mix that. You can play just a full hip hop game, or you can mix everything. Um, it's also a neat way to just get some different feel for what different stuff would go together. So rather than in freestyle, you can sit there and play, but here, because you're forced to play whatever's in your hand. Yeah, I get some different stuff. So, let's drop down. So I got two points on there. I got a point for playing it on the green, and I think I got a point for taking the opponent's card. So on this one, I play Triumphant, FX card, get plus two points for each pair. So I got a point for both that one and that one as a pair, plus one for playing there. So this game can change pretty quickly. Played one, took that card back over. And now I run into a problem, because every single card on here is a 3. The only card I can play would have to be another 3. I don't have any currently in my hand, so I can push my drop mix button. It's going to bring up the wheel, and it's going to spin. Unfortunately, it only picked 2 stars, there were no 2 stars, so I wasted it. But it's still going to have me draw my 2 cards. So now you can see I have the option of six versus five. So I don't lose. So I actually gain some extra advantage for the next turn by losing a point there. But now this guy's going to be in the same spot as he needs to be able to play a three. But luckily, he's still got some threes he can play. But now I run into the issue of I need to either play a red or a blue green to be able to take something over. Luckily, I have another blue. So, now, on this turn, my, uh, this player on the socket side, the skull, does have a red three they could play, and either put it on one of the two red slots. But, let's just start out seeing if I can erase my opponent's board. And so now that they have all the same, if I hit that 3, it's really going to hurt them. Boom. And that's telling me to take all the cards off there. Since even if your cards were on there, you take them all off. But now you can see that drop their score back down too. So it's not just about, oh, playing a card, I gain a card, I gain points, I gain points. If you lose a bunch of cards off the thing, you lose a ton. But now, I have all these reds and blues I can play. So I could play my... Three, my three red I had before, or I can just play a quick red for one point, gain my two points for that. Now, it's, now right now, this guy's constantly going to be two cards ahead, unless I play something, you have some of the FX cards that let you play other stuff. Now 
Now this guy, want to keep up on the high tower, the castle side. So, this one, I do have a card that says play an extra green. Problem is, I don't have any extra green in my hand. So I can't do that. Now the second player is getting kind of worried again. See, and now I could play the drop mix or uh, take the drop mix and try and hope for a three star or a three level to eliminate these two. But I could just get the one and eliminate that or nothing. Alternatively, I have wiling, which is remove both players all cards. So I'm gonna drop that down. Clear all cards. Now I just leave the one, and now I can play another card. And we're going to take up these red-blue spots so that the opponent can't get an advantage with that blue one there. So if you ever get to the end of your deck, you just have to reshuffle. This is a part where, because it's not, a well, it's kind of nice, it's not time, so you have to remove all your cards. You can go ahead and sort them back out quick. Or you might want to pause it in between that. Um, just in case you have to shuffle, or when you shuffle, you have to pause all your cards. Let's play some Salt and Pepper. Now the red's still open. So I have the option of either playing on this red here and just gaining points, or I can take over my opponents. Wait, yep, I should be back up to seven cards. Now, if I try and play this on the wrong color, it's going to tell me to return it to the wrong hand. If I try and play something on something lower, tell me it's the wrong color. Try and play it on something that's a higher one, too low of level. So it's not going to let you cheat and play something in the wrong spot. Oops. I meant to play. Alright, so I'm just going to do one more turn here. So I have my bottom line, which I said before, it's me playing extra green, so we're just going to play it. And the FX card can go in any spot, and it's letting me play an extra green. And I'm showing I have three cards this turn, so I still get my extra one. So I get my point for playing that one, my uh, FX card, point for my green one. And now I want to want to take over this blue spot. And I got a full mix bonus because I have one of each color on there. So I'm almost at 20 right now. And that little victory thing that pops up, that's your badges you can earn throughout the game. And now it puts me back at 6 where I was at 7 before because I actually got to draw a card. Now the only problem you're running is sometimes when you go to play... Uh, mixed decks around, because you're just grabbing too randomly, is I have styling here, so if you're playing extra keyboard. I can end up with uh, a combination of decks that either, for some reason, have no keyboards, except for maybe the one or two that might be in that set, or I may have played them already, and then this card's just stuck in my hand, because maybe there's only one. But I have this, so we're going to drop this, we're going to cover up that guy. So let me play an extra synth card. You know, X plays an extra card, you still have to follow the rules for it. It's like you can't play a level 3 card over something else. O or you can't play a level 1 over a 3.
Now I'm at this kind of stuck at this point where I'm this guy I'm within point victory. Do I have to play these? You have to play a three yellow, a three green, or three blue, or a red blue three. I do have this. And I know it was on my spot, but it won me the game because I took over a spot. So it doesn't matter whose spot it was. Then you can sit here and listen to it, rematch main menu. Alright, so that was Clash Mode. So you just did Clash Mode, you can see it's a head to head, it's all based off playing cards of specific colors versus card levels. Um, and again, you don't have to have a time limit. So you can take your time, so I mean, you can try and feel like rushed if you want to put a time limit. And make it more of a quick game, but then you have probably more errors. Um, so now we're going to look at Party Game, which is one to five players. So one to two players, you have a 30 card deck. Um, if you have three or more, so you start getting a party, the three to five players, you have 15. And that's just so that uh, things go quicker. You have your options, easy, normal, hard. They have a high score. So I'm going to just play a one player here just to show everyone what it is. It's going to take a minute, read it, hit drop max, remove my cards. Tells me to draw seven cards. This is a timed mode. It's why it's party, you get all, the, all players around where everyone can easily reach the card table. They each have their own hand. So, we're just going to go through the guide here quick. Um, I'm not going to read all this. Um, you draw cards at the start of the game in between rounds. And it'll tell you how many you should have. You're play over five rounds, and you're trying to meet requirements. Um, so, you can have teams. Um, it's going to ask for a request on a screen. It's going to tell me to play a red card. As it shows up there, it's going to slowly start dropping this timer. The quicker I play it, the quicker I get the points. Now, this is just saying a red card. It can be level 1, level 2, level 3. It can be a mixed card, uh, one of the wild cards. Just wants you to play one. So, like, here's a different one. Just showing it has to be a level 2. Doesn't care color. Must be red. Has to be a drums card. This one says just remove a blue card, or it might tell you to hit the drop mix. And the drop mix usually tells you when the table starts getting too full of high cards. Um, but, again, this isn't... Unlike Clash, is if I already have a three red down, it tells me to play a red. I just play a red. Doesn't matter if it's a higher or lower. Um, but then they have FX cards. So the black and white FX cards can meet any request. So kind of save them as like your, oh crap, I don't have a green card or I don't have a three card. You can play them then. Um, oh, I am sorry. It says, when you want to replace, it must equal or the higher level. So, yeah, if it's just telling you to play a red card, you should try and play your one level, your level one red card first versus your level three. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to play it over. So, we are going to just pop right in here. It's just playing any color. And I'm losing a lot of points here by digging through my hand. And again, like all the other modes... This is kind of neat because it lets you. So now I got three here, and it's going to ask for a bonus because I completed all three requests. And I'm going to get bonus points because I completed all four. Um, now I redraw to seven. Gives me a couple seconds to do that. Red card. And I'm getting lucky by having her. Now I have two options for requests. Oh, and I lost points because I played a card that didn't work, and that ended my round. So I was so it's trying to play a card, I wasn't watching what the requirements were. I 
Like the other modes, it's neat about this is because you get the, uh, you hear some different songs that get mixed together. Well, also because you're trying to play stuff quick. You don't sometimes get listening to them for very long, because they're like, oh, next turn, play a card, next turn, play a card. For Clash, you can take some time to listen to them. Now, it's telling me to hit the drop mix button. It's probably because I have so many threes on there. But it just wants me to get rid of the twos. And on the board, they'll actually flash if you're supposed to remove them. Um, it yelled at me for a party ball because I removed a level 1 card instead of a level 2. Again, this is still level 3, so it just wants me to try and get rid of those 3s. And the actual game board itself will flash telling you which spots to remove. I just messed up before because I wasn't paying any attention. So that one didn't give me points because that was just an FX card. But it'll let me complete it. So FX card to let you complete the request, you can keep going, but it doesn't get you any points. So they're only beneficial so you don't lose points. I am probably not doing very well at this game right now. The drop mix button's kind of fun just to get a hit because it. I had no yellow of the right level. I still have no yellow. I have nothing. I have none of those cards. So I can't complete any of them requests. That's what kind of sucks when you're trying to do this because you just might not have any. Now it's going to calculate my score. Now you can like look at your high scores, going different ones that I've gotten over the time, high scores. That's your party mode. thing here so I just want because I haven't ever played with three players myself so now you can play this card face up or face down on here so you can see how single player I'm just playing against myself it's going to wait for me to take all my cards off So I'm just playing this. I've never tested this before. I just want to see if it's anyone can play, and we're just as a collective group trying to play, or if it's like player one, player two. I think it's anybody can play. They're all coming from the same set right now just because I don't have time to grab different hands. Yep, so that's kind of basically how party mode works with everything else. You also have this button up here is the share, so if all of a sudden you're like, ooh, I really like that sound, you can just click that quick to save it. And I'm not going to sit here and play uh, a full another round of this. I just want to uh, just show you that. So if you're, you want to play with multiple people, that's kind of more of that like quick party, like everyone's trying to run through and drop stuff as quick as they can, um, competing with each other, playing as a team. So that was party mode. And... Alright, so now we've done Clash, we've done Party. We're going to do Puzzle, which is a one-player game. It wants me to take 30 cards. 
what else do I want to put in this deck? Mixes up quick. I didn't shuffle in 30. I was thinking it was a 15. So when you buy the base game, you start off with four uh, groupings or albums. So any of these are asking for 30. You can easily play a two-player game against each other. They do sell the 15-card uh, album packs separate. So if you bought two of them, that can give you another full combined 30. We're playing Instinct. So this is a, a challenge mode. It wants you to play certain things in a time limit. So it's it's not really timed until I play a card. So I'm just going to hit pause here. We'll go to our guide again. This is asking me to play different puzzles. So I start with six cards. I have 30 actions in the game to try and complete is this puzzle. So it's, it's more of that I can press the drop mix button, the drop mix button to reshuffle, get cards off. So when it's coming across there, if it's asking for a red card and a two card, if I play a red two, I can clear both requests at the same time. Um, like the other mode, you still have to play in the correct slot, equal or higher level, drop mix erases stuff. Um, after a few seconds in each action, two more requests will appear. Um, you can get points per action. If you get two to three, you get two, you get four, you get four. So you can try and complete more stuff at once. So, as you can kind of see here... Oh. So it's telling me, like, these linked ones are going to get rid of more stuff. So if I have a three-star yellow... I play that, it's going to get rid of my 3 star and my yellow. And it's showing I've used one of my actions, I've earned 8 points. Now this timer's going to come, I could keep playing cards right now, and that's just going to shuffle it. Now I'm not timed after this, so I can take my time and kind of strategize. So if I had a bunch of green stuff, I could try and eliminate some of this, I have a blue, I have a 3 blue star, or a 3 level blue. Just gonna clean out a lot of this. But I played it on the wrong slot, it didn't eliminate that one. Um, after every turn, you draw a card. So when you play a card, draw a card. So you should always keep your hand at six. Now here it's showing me I'm at red, and it's flashing, and then this one's flashing. It's telling me I basically need to play a card there. This is where you kind of got to strategize. And I cleared off a full row, so I gained some extra bonus points. But now before my timer gets there, I can quickly play that. So it's not like I, oh, I only had one opportunity. I just have to play it in the crap, just play stuff a little bit quicker sometimes. You can keep playing to try and eliminate more stuff before the next ones appear. So now I'm running into this issue of I have a 3 and a 3, or a 2 and a 1. So I could play this guy here to eliminate that one. I keep forgetting to draw cards, so that's not helping me. So if I play another yellow here... It's going to skip over the ones it needs to, so you don't even have to play them necessarily in the correct order. So, I could sit here and just keep playing this, I play that eliminated one, but every time I play a card, it gets rid of one of my actions. So it's not always beneficial to just sit there and play, play card, play card, play card. I'm going to have to do now is do a drop mix. Brings up my spinner. Hopefully it tells me to get rid of all my threes. So that just cleaned my entire board off.
Um, one issue I'm sort of having here is I have my board upside down. So, like, I have my yellow on top here and my green on the bottom. On the way I have my board positioned right now, I have it the other direction. I played this FX card. It just eliminated a ton of stuff for me. Oh, so it's, I I didn't play it quick enough, and I was trying to process new requests. Hoping that will clear out some of these to let that up so I didn't have the red card. It pushes it back a couple for me. Now, unfortunately, I need a ton of blue cards, and I was hoping to get some. some level 3 blues. That just didn't happen. And again, I also have the save button. If you really like this mix, you can hit the save. Uh, I have no choice but to... So I still don't have a way to play that because that's a three star. So I'm just trying to eliminate some of the stuff around it. Drop mix uses up one of my actions though, so that's why you kind of gotta watch. Now you could sit here and cheat. You cheat by like you're just trying to like, ooh, I'm trying to get a high score. You can sit there and shuffle through your deck or have all your cards laying out. I need to get rid of some of these twos or threes. Either one will be helpful. Some of the twos. Alright. And even that, like removing some of the things helped me out as well. So I run into an issue with some of these decks and deck combinations is I only have like maybe one three green, so I can't play a three green there. But I can play a blue. One, just to try and eliminate some of them, and now I just need a green. So now, because I let that 
cancel, it deleted everything, so it's telling me to remove this card. So yeah, if you can't play it and it eventually blocks it out. So like on that bottom one, I need to either play a blue or green. If you ever have to occasionally, like I play sleeves on my cards, you might need to pop this, like just empty the pile just so it reads better. So now it's giving me one last chance just to play whatever I can. I don't really have anything.